Well, hello, 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 everybody. Good to see you. Welcome to Elizabeth Craft Designs. My name is David, and tonight I'm doing the live because Els is uh, traveling at the moment. Um, good to see you. I can't see who's here yet. Let me see if I can find you. Um, that would be good, right? Just to double check whether I'm live or I'm, am I speaking to myself? The computer says I'm live, but you never know. Um, I think I am live. It's just the comments that are not working. Uh, let me refresh those. Oh, there we go. Yes, there we go. Hello, everybody. The comments weren't working. That's, that helps now, but I refreshed and it's fine now. Uh, hi, Christine. Hi, Aunt Sylvia. Belinda. Hi, Carla. Hi, Linda. Hi, Janet. Lois is here. Andrea is here. Sandra. Rick. Good evening, everybody. Luan. Jonah. Hello, everybody. Good to see you all. Well, today is going to be an, yeah, a second time for me because Halloween is something I don't usually do. Halloween uh, wasn't really big in the Netherlands uh, uh, as well, so that's why yeah, I never did anything with it. But it's getting bigger and bigger and more and more people are interested in it. Now, there are two ways you can do Halloween, which is scary or cute. Um, and in a way, I like both. I'm experimenting with it. Uh, but uh, yeah, tonight I'm going to use Halloween and I think it's going to be fun. Um, Sorry if I miss your comments, but the comments are not refreshing on their own. So I have to manually do that because I see I've already missed a lot of people. Hi, Jan. Sue is here. Honora. Good to see everybody. Patricia. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. That's good. Hi, Debbie. Um, good to see everybody. It's your favorite time of the year, Christine. Ah, well, I'm going to do uh, play around with some um, uh, Halloween stuff tonight. But before we start, I would like to say like, share and comment um, to be able to win that beautiful gift certificate uh, that will be announced on Monday, the winner. It's Friday now. So um, also, um, uh, Josette is here with me. Well, not physically with me, but she's in the chat. Um, she will put the links in and she will monitor everything for me there. So hi, Josette. Good to see you. Um, and she will probably be there as Elizabeth Craft Design. But hey, like, comment and share and let us know in the comments when you did, because that will definitely help with the draw. Good. Let's uh, let's turn the cameras around and see where we are. Um, I'm just trying to yeah, there's something going on with the comments again, because on my phone it doesn't work as well. Anyways, never mind. Um, I see a lot of people like, share and comment. Again, I'm sorry, I have to manually refresh my comments, so I hope I don't miss uh, a lot of your comments, but uh, yeah. Good. Um, is my mic giving some static or is it my chest hair that's rubbing against it? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about that at the moment. Um, hopefully it's better now. I've just moved it a bit. Um, what are we going to do? Let's look at that. Um, I'm going to um, use this little stamp that says trick or treat and I'm going to use the scarecrow. Uh, love this one. He's really cute. He's cute and scary at the same time. And when I was preparing this, I made this background, which I adore. Uh, it's an embossing folder. Um, but uh, eh, no, it wasn't a match. But the technique I used on here was very much fun. Um, so that's got me thinking like, okay, what am I going to do next? Um, so I came up with an idea and I'm going to use an embossing folder, but ju not just this one, uh, but I love this one. So that's going to go to the side and I will use that on another project. So we're going to use the Scarecrow. I'm going to use the Moon Masks from Tim. This is the embossing folder that I'm going to be using, which is nice fall uh, thingy uh, theme. <laughs> that's what I should say, not thingy. Um, I've got my Planner Pocket. Uh, this is the Planner Essentials 26. I've cut out the pocket with the big uh, pocket nail. Now, what's that called? It's not a pocket. It's a tag. Get a grip, David. The big tag from this set uh, we're going to use tonight. I've already cut that out so that can go to the side. And here I've got my bits and bobs ready to go. So with that being said, let's put some things to the side so we can go ahead and start playing around. 
first let me refresh the comments and see if I missed anything. Yeah, these skulls are awesome, but they they just don't work um, uh, with the, the the scarecrow that I did. So yeah, um, I know it's a Facebook thing at the moment because I know Marga was just live and uh, she had the same issue. So uh, yeah, Facebook is playing up again. That's what happens, right? Right. What am I going to do? I'm going to uh, get my paper out. Um, I've got two page pieces of paper. I'm going to start with this one, with the tag, and I'm going to. Normally, I would use my splatter box for this, but I just decided to live on the edge and make a mess. So I've got my paper roll ready, um, and I've got some of the new distress mica stains here. Uh, and I'm going to use those, but before I'm going to spray, I'm actually going to um, use my moon mask. Good evening, everybody that just came in. Good to see you. We're going to make a Halloween card, but it's going to be quite a, uh, a different one. Um, let me see. Okay. Good. Um, I'm going to use the moon mask. I need the smallest one. And for some reason, the smallest ones are always at the back. I don't know what that is. It's, it saves me. I know it now. So it saves me uh, looking for them. So I'm going to put some um, removable adhesive or repositionable adhesive on the back of this moon mask. And then I'm going to see where am I going to put that. Now I want it quite high up because this scarecrow is quite big. But I do want quite a big moon on there as well. So I think there will be fine. Okay, now the fun bit comes because if you know me, you know I like to play with ink. Now, I, sorry, I have to make some noise because I have to shake these up. So I will do that four at a time. So we will do the hippie hippie shake. Um, we have the noise only once, right? There's no sludge anymore. That's good. That's good. It's only the black, the oxide in black suit that is giving me a bit more work. Um, Jonah, that's your set. Okay, that's good as well. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take off the caps because that gives me some uh, speed. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this beautiful Harvest Moon. I'm already making a mess of my fingers it's because I'm lazy with shaking. That's why it is. Okay, let's put that on there. Yeah. Next, I'm coming in with Burning Amber. And I'm going to put in some Fortune Teller. There we go. And just a tiny bit of black suit to give it a bit more of that moody darkness. There we go. That's it. What I'm going to do next, this is a technique I saw actually, I have to be honest, Tim Holtz demoed this when he launched these colors. So, um, the moon mask, um, it's from Tim Holtz. It's this one, it's from Stampers Anonymous. A uh, layering mask and it's the moon mask. It's gold. And now I'm coming in with some water and I'm just gonna spray some water on here to get some movement. Just like that. That's it. Then I'm gonna take my heat tool and I'm gonna dry this. I'm gonna leave that moon mask on there. And the drying bit is especially important around that moon mask. Hi Ruli, good to see you. And these mica stains are lovely. They really make a great... Uh, you're welcome, Penny. 
they really make great backgrounds. Now there's a bit of sludge here. I will just dab that off. Because who needs sludge, right? So, there we go. Next I'm going to take off this moon mask. And I've got a bit of leakage, which it you get what you get, right? Normal, the, the one I did before, I tested it. I'll show you that in a second, and I might use that one, but I will just finish the technique. Um, it leaked underneath, and it didn't happen with the other one. Anyways, look at the magic that happens when I spray this. It just goes in, and then you dry again. What does Tim always say? You get what you get and don't throw a fit, right? So, I will just finish this one off, but I will definitely use the other one because that's, that one worked. It's always the case when you go live. That's why I make a backup. So just imagine this part being white and this just bleeding in a bit. Next I'm coming in with this uh, moon uh, mask to go over that. I'm going to put a bit of the adhesive on there. I can, but I've got a backup version, so I'm not too bothered, Jonah. What I'm going to do, and this might turn out right. You, you never know. You never know. I'm going to take my frayed burlap and my uh, brush. And this can go away. Up, there we go. And I'm just going to color in with frayed burlap through that mask. And slightly going around as well. That will emphasize the circle of the moon a bit. Oh, actually, it isn't even that bad. Look at that. Not bad at all. Could have been worse. So, what I'm doing next, I'm coming in with my water again. And... Yeah, Belinda, this normally works as well. I'll show you the other one. But it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I didn't press it down well enough. User error. It usually is, look at the state of my fingers. It usually is um, user error with me. <laughs> you know that by now. So, this is on there. This is just water, splatters. And I'm just going to dry those. Get a clean piece of paper towel. And dab them off. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, mica stain in Harvest Moon again. Shake them up. I'm going to refresh again. I know, Belinda, it's always. I know, it's not bad at all. I might even use it. But you guys can choose in a minute. I'm just going to splatter some of this yellow on there. Because I love that color. And I just think it brightens it everything up. So, now, this is the other moon I did. You see what I mean? You really get that ghosty look coming in. But actually, this one's quite cool as well. So, it looks bigger. It's the same size, but uh, 
it looks bigger. So I'm going to use this one. What do you think? Number one or number two? One or two? Then I have to refresh the comments because otherwise I can't see your answers. Yeah. Normally I use a scrap a splat box, uh, but I just think it's fuzzy with the with the cameras and getting it in the right frame, etc. So that's why I'm not using it today. But normally I do because it, it's everywhere now. Trust me, it is. Okay, one or two. Let me see. Two, 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 two. The new one, right? Yeah, the glow around the moon is nicer, and I like this yellow bit that's that's coming through more which I also like. So actually, happy accident. Cool, I'm going to put this to the side to dry because then we're going to move to the next part. And the next part actually is a lot of fun as well. That was that skull that I just showed you. Uh, and I, as I said, I was thinking, uh, how am I going to do that? Um, because I didn't like that, but I would like the techniques. So let me tell you how I did that. Now on these 3D embossing folders from Tim Holtz, you've got the leaves on, one, uh, on both sides, but one is the dented version and the other one is the one that's peeling up. Now this part is being pressed into the paper, uh, so I want my color on here. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my um, Wild Honey in archival. Okay, number two it is. I'm going to take that one in archival and I'm just going to go direct to, to my embossing folder with my ink pad. Putting a good amount of ink on there. Uh, like so. Not being cheap about it. Just putting it on there. Look at my fingers. Then I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm just going to put that in here, making sure once it's in there, I'm not going to move it like that. Close it up and I'm going to run this through my machine. Now, that could have been better prepared, but I've got it. So I'm using my um, switch and the sandwich is quite simple with the 3D embossing ones. It's the base plate, your embossing folder and on top you're going to put your other plate. And run that through and I'm actually going to run that through twice. So I'm gonna, it's going to go in um, and bring it back. My switch is making a lot of noise at the moment because uh, it's, it's been overworked. <laughs> With the retreat coming up, it's, it's done a lot of die cutting and it's making some noises it should not make. But uh, anyways, okay. Now that's that. That's nice. It's orange. It looks good. Um, but it's not what I want. I'm not done yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some archival ink cleaner. And I'm just going to go over my embossing folder and then into the knocks and crannies of that leaves and that's how you get that really fun effect. So I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to run that through just one more time. Making sure I, I put some over the leaves. So it's quite juicy quite nice and wet so I'm gonna put that in there again then I'm gonna line this up and just click it into place there's only one way it fits in there there we go close it up again and bring that back to my machine and run it through again Well, I'm using the archival uh, because it's, uh, I'm using the archival cleaner. And 
um, when Tim demoed this technique, he said that uh, he tried it with alcohol and it did not work. Pig-headed as I am, I tried it with alcohol because I thought, yeah, 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 you want to sell the car for. <laughs> but it doesn't work with alcohol. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's how it works. But look at the effect you get then. Isn't that cool? I just love that. I just love that. Yeah, it's just a Facebook issue, guys. I would give up. No, not on me, but on the comments. Just refresh every now and then. And then it's fine. Yeah, this is just stunning. Now, what I want to do, I want to give that a bit more definition. So, I'm coming in with my archival uh, in ground espresso. This could be a normal ink as well. Um, but I'm just going to come in and give this some darkness, a bit of dirty look. give it more definition and that is going to be my second background because I'm going to need two backgrounds and this one is going to go on top of that so I love that um, let me see at the comments what is that folder called um, that would help if I have the packaging with me but I, I do that is called, where does is this, is this, acorns, I think. Yeah, acorns. So, that's that. Put that to the side. And then I'm going to have a play with the, egg, the scarecrow. Come on. Why didn't I, don't I have nails? I'll get my tweezers out. Okay, so I've cut the pieces out and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some tea dye to color in the scarecrow. So that is, um, I just had it, oh here, under my phone. No, not. <laughs> there it is. This is the scarecrow that I'm going to be using. The spray colors, they are Harvest Moon, Burning Amber, and Fortune Teller. What do you mean with it won't shift, uh, Femke? In the embossing folder, no, because it clicks back into place. There's only one way it clicks in, so you put it back in, it clicks in, close the folder, and then it will not shift. Right, let me get my tea dye. I'm going to use a finger dauber. And I'm just going to color this. Beautiful paper, which I, it keeps amazing me how well it takes ink, etc. I mean, don't forget, this was done on the soft finish cardstock. Isn't that stunning? I mean, yeah, you just got to be careful that it, it, it gets quite soft, but when it's dry, it's nice and firm again. So I'm just going to use some finger dobbers to, to color these pieces. Now this, I think it's quite easy. I'm going to use my black suit and a black finger dobber. That's a good one, Sue. I will check that out. Because that might solve the issue. So I'm coming in with black suit from the sides and just color in this. Um, yeah, what is it? Scarecrow shirt body thingy. You said you designed it. What do you call this? <laughs> So I'm just giving this a nice piece of color. There we go. 
and I will do the same with the hat. I will give him a black hat as well. Yeah, I mean, that's why uh, I said to Els, I said, when we were speaking about what, what, what I'm going to do, I said, let's use some older things. I'm always, we're always using the new stuff, but we shouldn't forget we've got beautiful older dice as well. And this is one of them that I think is just, just perfect. Um, then um, I've got this little thing that's going to go on top of the hat. And I will make that purple. And I will just, let me double check, get that on the wrong side. Let me color that in. Hi, Summer. Good to see you. Hi, Marianne. Those are stitches. Yeah, the, 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 the bits on there, right? Hi, Diane. Yeah, it's just his clothes. His shirt. The shirt on his back. Well, that's everything he's got, right? And then we've got this teeny weeny mini thingy here, which is the buckle that goes onto his hat uh, belly. And I've got this Delicata pigment ink in rose gold. And I like that. And I'm just going to dip this in here. Put it on there. Just dab it on. And take it off. And that gives me a really nice and shiny buckle to go onto his hat. So sometimes life can be so simple. Then hmm, I've lost some bits and bobs, but never mind. In the in the set you, you also get a die that's cutting out these uh, little squares to go around the stitches or inside the stitches. So we you just put them on like so, and this part goes onto his hat. So these things are so easy to assemble. That's good. What's that? What do we need? Reinforcements? Reinforcers? Yeah, no, no, I'm not, Sue. I'm trying to catch up on the comments, but I've missed something. I'm not sure what you're on about, uh, Sylvia. But yeah, my switch has been making over hours with the... Uh, I've got some of the ink on my... Now, that's interesting. I've just lost that little... I just made. Never mind. Because I've got a magic oven, so I'm going to put this to the side. Because I just figured you would not want me see, want to see me color and glue together a sticky figure from scratch. So I've prepared him. Now, isn't he cute? Now, I've just got a brainwave. Just bear with me, guys. I'm just going to go to the cellar. I've got this wax here, which is a metallic bronze. And what I'm going to do with my finger, um, let me refresh. Ah, uh, it's, it's a pain. It's a pain. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give him a bit of a, that bronzy halo, just with my finger. Oh yeah, I like that, because now he's going to go on there, and that's the, the, the light of the moon hitting him from the back, giving him a glow. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, hi, Els. Good to see you. Just with my finger, just... Touching the sides ever so slightly, not 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 much. 
I just want it to be a bit of a glow that it makes him blend in a bit with that background as well. So yeah, I like that. And a bit on his teeth. <laughs> yes, I don't know if you can see that, but it's funny on his teeth. It makes his teeth bling bling. So that's it. Put that to the side. No, guys, let's forget about Facebook. Facebook is throwing a fit at the moment with the comments. It's not you, it's not your machine. Logging in and out doesn't work. It's, uh, it's Facebook that's playing up. They do that sometimes. Not on purpose. The jar. This one is just a normal wax. Um, um, yeah. How do you call that? Gilding wax, it's called, and they've got many, many brands have it. So, they would be cute together. I don't have it, otherwise, I would do it else, but I don't have it. Right, I'm gonna clean my fingers off because these are really a mess. Now, these sprays, they do stain. They are called mica stain. Well, that's for a reason. Look at that. <laughs> Um, well, I need to get that other one. Yeah, there are so many um, different brands. You've, Sizzix has got some good quality, quality ones. I'm not telling you the brand of this one because I don't like the brand. Um, so I'm not, not going to tell you because this is not a good quality. But um, uh, there are better qualities out there. But uh, yeah, um, these last a long time. So I will get a new one when these are more towards the end but I'm not going to recommend this brand to you right next up is to build up my card so I've got my black card base here that I'm going to put this uh, background we made with the Ooh, let me get my tape um, embossing folder and I'm going to put some tape behind that because that will really help adhering it well with the structure from the embossing folder on there. So I'm just going to put this around. I love this tape because you can tear it. Sizzix brand is really good, I know. There we go, and one in the middle, like that. That will do the trick. So next I'm going to rub this down and peel off this bit of the backing. I'm just going to fold a corner, going to do the same here, And the same here, you get the gist. I'm going to do that all four sides. Try not to tear the paper, David. That might help. Because then we have to start over again. And we will not do that. Now, one of my downfalls is getting things straight on the paper. Um, and this is what really helps me. Doing it like this. There we go. So I took out the whole middle part, took off the whole middle part. Okay, and then I'm going to position that on there and I might need to pick it up because I can't see with my lights being in the way. Um, I think that's always the thing as well with the embossing. You're card panel gets slightly smaller. I think that's fine. And what you do then is just peel off these thingies that's sticking out and it's on there. Done. Cool. Next I'm gonna 
put a hole reinforcer in there because I like that. So let me get my proper dial. Make some room. There we go. And I'm going to put a black one on there. Now, let me see. This is this one's quite big, but it might be cool. Is it too big? No, it's fine. So I'm going to use this big black one. So I'm going to open this one up. There's a wood ring coming. Okay. Gonna put this one in here and close that. So now that black is coming back from the matte layer on here. And I might actually get some black twine. This one. There we go. Like that. Put that in there. And then I'm going to put another nut in here just to make it an eyelet, that's called. Yeah, not a whole reinforcer. Thank you. I couldn't find the word. Speaking is hard on Friday. <laughs> it's weekend, then my brain switches off. There. Yeah, uh, this tag on its own is beautiful, but I'm going to put that on there. And then let me see how, which way I'm going to do that. I want to do it like this. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to take my tape again. I'm going to put some tape behind this. It's, it's a fun t technique, um, and uh, yeah, as I said, I did it with the, with the skull, loved it, but I just don't like the scarecrow on that. It's not, no, not for me. So, uh, and then I thought I want to use that technique, but then with another color, and that's how I came up with this. There we go. Just put two strips of tape. And that one. Hey, Marga. Finish your life. Right. Then I'm going to put this tag over that background. On an angle. There we go. And then what I did, I've cut out his head another time colored it with the same color and stamped on it with trick or treat. That's that little stamp that I just showed you. And then I'm going to put the scarecrow right there because we still need to see that moon. So he can be twisted that way. So we've got the card there, the tag, and the scarecrow is going in that direction. So we can still see the moon. No, I'm not going to cover up the moon, girls. Don't worry. But the scarecrow is the star of the show. And if I don't use him, he will be very disappointed. And we don't want to have a disappointed scarecrow. Right, let me just hover over that. I like this, that his hands are hanging over a bit. Just like that. And 
And then this part, the trick or treat, is going to go here at the bottom. and makes it look like he's sticking out from that pumpkin. There we go. So all that's left now, I just love him. I think he's fun. You see, you can still see the moon. Trick or treat, it's fun. Hey, Lisanna. I did have fun. You're absolutely right. Um, so what I'm going to do next, and I, I'm using some glue for that because it gives me wiggle time because I'm always scared to ruin my final part. I know tape is far more efficient, but in my head it goes wrong and then I get stressed. We don't want that. Life is enough as it is. Okay, now I'm going to put this on here. That's what I like with the glue. I can shift it around a bit. So there we have it. I just love him. I have a glue pin. There it is. Yona made that for me. Thank you, Yona. I'm thinking about you every single day. Well, every day I'm crafting. I'm thinking about you. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. You can still see that moon peeking through. Uh, the scarecrow is on there. Now, I'm just thinking I might put in a sentiment on the inside of the card. This is the wrong sentiment strip. This goes with the monsters. There we go. I might just stamp Happy Halloween on the inside. Ah, let's do that. Because why not, right? So, that's on there. Let me get my ink. My Versafine, Claire. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, the comments are working again, by the way. This is the wrong color. This is the one I was looking for, Nocturne. There are many, of, many, many, many ways you can use this, these techniques, all of them. So I'm just tapping on there. Do I have a tiny bat? I don't. Do you want a bat? <laughs> no, I don't. I only have mice and I didn't like the mice on this one. Right, let me... I have to concentrate, guys. I'm stamping with black ink on a white card. I just want this right in the center shift it a tiny bit that's cool that's cool i like that happy halloween now my brain is in overgear because i'm thinking oh what else can i put on the inside Just might have his hat. Yeah, okay. Just gonna trim off this bit. And I've got this witch hat that's gonna come from the bottom. Just gonna he's making a guest appearance on the inside of the card. There we go. Cute. Now I've got some boo boo over here, so let me just get my eraser and it's gone. There we go. So yeah, it just finishes it off, I think, if you finish the inside of a card as well. 
Very often I do that, but I hard, I, almost every time I forget to film it. So now I did it. So just a little touch on the inside. And here is a guest appearance. Exactly. He's making a guest appearance there. Um, right. This was it for today, guys. I really love this card. I really love how this one turned out. Uh, I hope you do too. This goes to show use what you have as well. I mean, the, these, these older dice, let me switch cameras. These older dice are also fantastic and we've got a huge collection uh, at Elizabeth Craft Designs and I'm still discovering after one year, um, it's nearly one year I'm on the design team. Is it? No, it's not. It's January, but okay, it, even less. And, but I'm discovering new dice every single time. So um, yeah, there's still a lot of fun stuff to discover. So that means you will get to discover it with me because I'm filming and recording everything and I'm live on a regular base for Elizabeth Craft Designs as well. So thank you for watching me tonight. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be back. That's, uh, uh, that's work in progress, but we'll get there. Um, anyways, there's a lot of fun lives coming up in the next coming weeks. Esther's gonna be live on Monday again with some fun in the planner. I have a idea of what she's doing and that's going to be fun as well so watch her on monday thank you guys for watching this one and i would love to see you for the next one have a blast bye